Christopher Newport defeated Salisbury in the CAC Championship for the second straight season last spring, clinching the crown with a 7-4 victory in the title game. The captains and Seagulls went on to meet in the NCAA Super Regionals for the second straight year, with Salisbury once again coming out on top to earn a spot in the NCAA Championship Tournament. The trip to the Final Eight was a third in a row for the Seagulls, who advanced to the Final Four before being eliminated by national runner-up Texas Tyler. Can anyone knock CNU and Salisbury from the top of the conference this spring? Let's take an in-depth look at all eight CAC squads entering the 2016 campaign. for this season are, well, first of all, we want to get some wins under our belt, so I think that that's where we're starting. Um, number two, we want to just build a really good foundation. We're still in the building process, but we want to be able to build a really good foundation for um, what we have going on now, as well as players that we have coming in in the future, just to be able to know what SPU softball is and having people want to be a part of that is something that we're really striving for, and I think that this year is a good place to start. As a team, we've talked a lot about our goals and we've set very specific numerical goals about each aspect of the game, both offense and defense, but probably a general overview of what our goals are to get some wins and to um, help our team, which is a majority freshmen, uh, to be a unified, dedicated, strong team both on and off the field. Our key losses from last year are Jamie Pinkston, I think, was a huge asset for us. Uh, she was our pitcher, and she pitched almost every single game last season. And she got us out of some jams and you know, kept us in games. And she just did a really good job for us. And so uh, now we're bringing in some new pitching, and hopefully they'll be doing a good job. But she was definitely a big loss for us last year. Our weight training sessions honestly have been such a great thing for us. I think um, it's been great to get to know each other in, in different aspects, but in that environment we're able to see the strengths and weaknesses and encourage each other and it helps a lot in preparation for practice and eventually games. The key returners that we have this year I think are Annie Clark and Sarah Edwards. They both uh, bring a lot of experience, um, not only for SVU but also for our softball program. Um, just being here, um, being seniors this year, it's really going to help us out because we do have a really young team. We actually brought in a ton of freshmen this year as well as one transfer. And I think that um, it's going to be good with the new group of girls that we brought in here. I think that Molly Gabbert will be a good help for us. She's a transfer that we brought in and um, she'll be a good hitter and kind of get our offense going. Probably the wins, uh, to be honest, but also uh, since it is my last season, I just want to have fun and to be a good teammate and uh, help the girls with um, whatever they need and do my job on the field. Our conference schedule is tough. Uh, we all know that we're in the CAC. That's a tough, great conference to be in. Um, and, you know, so we're always striving to just being able to compete in that conference um, and, you know, just do the best we can against some, some amazing teams. A non-conference stuff we have scheduled that we're hoping that we'll be able to get a few wins in and um, really being able to compete and show the teams that we played last year that we've made some big improvements um, this year and going forward as well. It's been really nice to get to know the girls uh, since they're mostly all new and it's been great to be able to build our team chemistry in preparation for the spring and to um, yeah, get to know each other's strengths and weaknesses. I think that the most important thing I learned in my first year of coaching here at SVU is patience. Um, I think that that's something that every coach needs more of um, because we all expect our players to do the best and do exactly what we're telling them to do and a lot of times it's hard when they're not getting it or they're not quite understanding how we want them to execute certain things. So I think for me that's been a good place to start in learning um, how to make SVU softball more effective. And um, I think in doing so, it's been a lot more um, successful this year in working with some of my girls and being able to get them to the level that we want them to be able to compete at. Initially, it was for the opportunity to play college softball, which has been really great. Um, but I also really appreciate the 
good, positive uh, LDS environment. expectations for this year are to improve upon the successes that we had last year, be a little more consistent from game one to game two this year, which comes with maturity of the squad, and to ultimately work hard and get into postseason play. My goals and expectations for the upcoming season would be um, improvement, both self and as a team. Uh, we made it to EAC's last season, and um, that was a little bit of a down because we lost one game and missed it, but we're definitely shooting for CICs this, this season. We graduated four seniors last year, half of our pitching staff. Gabby was a big loss, but I feel that we have the newcomers in this year to hopefully replace that position. We lost Erica at third base, Mac in left, and Carrie in right. But again, with the squad that we have this year, I feel like we'll be able to backfill those spots and not miss a beat. Our off-season has helped us prepare through working out. This season we really tried to focus in the gym and um, we got a lot of time at Spooky Neck, which is an off-campus facility, so that has definitely helped us as well. Our key returners this year are our seniors. We have Riley Locke, who is our four-year senior at the catching position. We also have Jackie Furch, who is a three-year starter, mainly outfield and some pitching. And we also have Jazz, who is a four-year outfielder for us. I'm definitely looking forward to our trip to Myrtle Beach. And then I would also say I'm looking forward to bonding with a new team. We have a lot of freshmen and new players this season, so that's exciting. Our key newcomers this year, I would say, is our entire freshman class. They're very talented. I think they're one of the most talented classes we've brought into the program so far. So without pointing out individuals, I'd like to say that as a whole, we're very excited to see what they can do. Um, my thoughts on the schedule are, I'm, I like our schedule this season because we get to go to Myrtle Beach, and then we roll into, I think, about six non-conference games, and then that'll help us prepare for our season with the CAC. And uh, we also don't have to travel to Newport, which is nice, but we go to um, Salisbury, so it's very even keeled. Our CIC schedule is very competitive. I think it's one of the most competitive conferences for women's softball. And I think we do a nice job balancing our non-conference schedule to keep a high level of competitive play, but also mix in opportunities to get some underclassmen more playing time. My favorite part about being a student athlete at Penn State Harrisburg is the fact that I can focus on my athletics as well as my degree. Um, there's not as much pressure being a Division three student, but we still get to compete in a very competitive uh, conference. The CAC Student Athlete Advisory Committee promotes community service as one of the pillars of the organization's mission. CAC SAC members have impacted the communities surrounding their campuses in a variety of ways over the years. The student athletes realize that it's important to give back to the community and make those connections between community members, whether it's nonprofits, whether it's groups of kids and clubs and organizations, uh, whether senior citizens, uh, student athletes realize that and they want and they have a desire, a true desire to give back to their community. It's really important because it lets other people know what the Student Athlete Advisory Committee is about because most people aren't aware of what we do. I mean, it bridges a gap between the communities, the student athlete community, and the outside community. It's very important for SAC to be involved like this, whether we have athletes that are very passionate about causes and to put good people towards good causes is the best thing to do. I think one of the most important functions of SAC is, you know, the community involvement piece. It gives back to the school, it gives back to the community, which makes both better.
I really think that just our goal overall is to make CAC playoffs. Um, but uh, in order to achieve that goal, we really have to just trust in the process. And we've really been doing a lot of mental training and preparing in order to allow us to be able to achieve those things. Um, and that takes uh, us winning game by game. Uh, the goal is to be in CAC playoffs, but that's a one inning, kind of one pitch at a time thing that you know we really need to stay focused on and just really trying to focus on the process of you know how to have quality at bats that allow us to then have the success that we we would like to. We've actually spent a lot of time setting up goals for whether it be a week-long or a season-long goals that we've set up. We just recently um, came up with a word that we want to serve as a tradition for Wesley softball and what we want to be not only for the softball team but for the community within Wesley as well. So we have um, some team goals and individual goals that we've been working on through the off season that we're really excited to achieve hopefully come spring. The key losses for us, um, we graduated two really great players. Um, Brooke Creighton really did a great job for us in terms of you know always being a motivator and just kind of a good person to have on the team and then Samantha Mahoski is somebody that we're you know really trying to fill a role for. She was just such a great voice for us defensively and um, we have some kids that are really working hard to fill that um, but you know she was just such a strong voice for us and really hold it, held down uh, the corner at first for for three years for us and did a great job so looking to our roster to really find some people that can can fill that role. Uh, well when I was in field hockey I was doing that but um getting to come to some of the practices and watching the fall ball game that the girls got to play in, you know, they're working hard every day. And we have five freshmen coming in, which, uh, well, who are here, and um, that's the second biggest class we have in our, on our whole team. So, you know, I think that they're, I'm looking forward to see what they can contribute to, uh, to the team and, you know, just in the weight room constantly, conditioning, training, you know, doing what we can, getting extra reps outside of practice. You know, everybody's really dedicated because we had a successful season last year to continue with that momentum. Our shortstop last year, Morgan Seymour, we might be moving a little bit to first base some. Uh, so she's really the only one that we're kind of transitioning into another position. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think that we're really strong with our returners. They're comfortable. They've got a really good chemistry out on the field. And we're kind of looking to some of our newcomers to maybe um, help step in so excited about the roster and, and where we can go. You know, the CAC is extremely competitive. It always is every year. So those are games that we know now at this point, especially the upperclassmen, what we need to do to compete and to win those games. But um, our non-conference schedule is you know, just as tough too, which is really good because it only helps prepare us for the conference. So overall, our schedule is tough, but it's, you know, I think it's going to be good to keep the ball rolling and keep our momentum. Um, you know, we have go down to Florida this year, which is new. We've been to Myrtle Beach the past three years, for me anyway, and uh, so the team's really excited to just experience new talent, new atmosphere, and just hit the dirt again. Well, I don't think it's necessarily just a freshman class. Um, we have a transfer that I think is really gonna contribute as well. Um, you know, a lot of them are really banging the ball uh, in early workouts, so that's really exciting. Um, we've got a really exciting freshman pitcher who has been looking really good. She's throwing the ball well. Um, did really well for us in our fall ball game. Um, just, you know, we saw a lot of really great things out of the fall for the freshmen, and um, I think that most of them are not, you know, mentally or physically playing as freshmen, which is something that's, you know, really exciting and going to bode well for us as the season continues. Definitely the faculty staff game against Mary Washington. Um, really excited about that for multiple reasons. You know, uh, the staff and the faculty here, our professors, are super supportive of Wesley Athletics in general and you know they're always there to help us when we need help or if we're missing class for something and you know they want to see, see us succeed in the classroom just as much as on the field and so you know they're a great support for us so to be able to recognize them is something that I always look forward to and it's always a good game with Mary Wash. We split with them last year so I'm interested to see what this year is going to bring. Well the CAC is always a grind. Um, you know, they're, we're very strong top to bottom, um, and you can see that if you look back at, you know, last year's schedule, um, you know, some of the teams that didn't make playoff beat playoffs beating teams that, you know, went a long distance in the playoffs. So, um, 
you know, we're really just looking to compete and, and to put ourselves in a position to do that. You know, obviously there's two really strong top teams and, and everybody's always trying to knock them off. But I think the true battle is going to be between the three and the six and, you know, really who, who gets in playoffs and who gets hot going into playoffs and just kind of seeing what happens. Um, but we're going down to Florida. Um, the girls really asked for a challenge and wanted to play some better teams so that when we do get into CAC play that, you know, we can really compete and, and we've had those tough games and we've had those tough innings and, and are mentally and physically prepared in order to achieve the goals that we want to. So really excited, um, you know, for the Florida trip. We're excited for, you know, the non-conference games that we have coming up to that and, and just looking forward to what this team can put together. Just the, the opportunity that it gives you to be involved in so much more than just athletics because, you know, that you love already. And, you know, getting a chance to play that and the opportunity is I'm just so grateful for. It. But, you know, being able to branch out into other areas within the community and within Wesley College by being a student athlete and president of the SAC. So that's something that I've been able to develop in my own way with leadership roles and stuff like that that I wouldn't have been able to do if I wasn't a student athlete. So there's a lot of opportunities and different networking and career pathway choices that I'll be able to use from being a student athlete. It's on us. It's on all of us. And it's time to act now. We are calling you. All of you. We are calling all Division Three schools to join our cause to recognize that non-consensual sex is sexual assault, to identify situations in which sexual assault may occur. To intervene in situations where consent has not or cannot be given. To create an environment in which sexual assault is unacceptable and survivors are supported. This is our It's On Us pledge. It's on us to make a personal commitment to help keep all people safe from sexual assault, regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, or ability. Not to be bystanders to the problem, but to be leaders of the solution. We invite you to join us in this campaign by informing your campuses about the It's On Us mission. Educate your student body, faculty, staff, and local community on how to prevent sexual assault and how to support survivors. It's on us to start the change. It's on us to be the change. It's on us. It's on Division Three. It's on all of us to stop sexual assault. As a program, I'm sure that we fall in line with most other programs that we want to go deep into the postseason. We want to seek that championship banner for the institution. But mainly this year as a team, we're really focusing on game by game, how we can compete to the best of our ability against each opponent on our schedule. We have a well-established, fully bought-in group of young athletes, and they've really cultivated a culture that we can be proud of. Accomplishment of our team goals, it's going to come by continuing to put in the hard work. We're going to do the little things day in and day out with commitment and efficiency. And each game on our schedule is going to be approached in the same exact manner. As long as our focus remains consistent and efficient, pitch by pitch, inning by inning to the last out, I think the results will take care of themselves. But just like every team for every year, like your ultimate goal as a team is to really compete in that conference tournament and to really take that championship. But in order for us to do that, we need to really take care of the little things day in and day out through practice, through games, through workouts, to really be able to reach that ultimate goal of the championship. So We have nine returners from the 2015 roster. We returned three juniors, and we returned six underclassmen. In the core of the returners, we bring back two-time all-CAC performer, junior captain Katie Maloney at shortstop. I have high expectations, again, for her to continue as an impact player for both offensive and defensive production. Um, also returning, we have all CAC performing pitcher Courtney Martin as our ace in the circle. We looked for her to continue 
to be an impact player and a leader for us this season. Junior captain Carly Ruhlman returns as an anchor force in the infield at first base, and she's expected to continue her strong defense and powerful presence at the plate as well. The returners as a whole have demonstrated strong leadership and have set high expectations for these newcomers. Uh, this is the most dynamic and hardworking group that I've had the pleasure of coaching in my time here at your college. Well, we're a very young squad this year. So we have right now no seniors. We have three juniors. We have 14 underclassmen. At this point, the field is wide open. The competition is fantastic that we've seen throughout the fall, off season, and now into the preseason. These youngsters are hungry to compete. They're really vying for the positions. Uh, healthy competition is going on day in and day out. They're working very hard. But at this point, the field is really wide open with the exception of those returners that we mentioned in, in diligent positions that are being occupied already. I would say that we're going to have youth behind the plate. There, there's going to be some depth there for, for the young athletes, but I do see them coming in and contributing. And several of these youngsters are going to have to contribute. I see some emergence at this point of, from that pack of some players that it really can make a difference. Well, we open up uh, with a 10 game trip to Claremont, Florida. So that'll be good to really get our team bonded together to get ready to come here um, back to York to continue our conference play and our non-conference play up here. Um, the CAC conference, it's, it's a competitive and a tough conference to be in, but you know, there's nobody that's easy to beat. You gotta come ready to play each and every game. Same thing for non-conference. Uh, we, we take everything game by game. We don't worry about who the opponent is. Uh, we just take care of our business and we do our jobs and then the result will pay out in the end. When it comes to being a student athlete, there's definitely a lot that goes into it. But my favorite thing about it is definitely the teammates and the relationships you build with your team and your coaching staff. You know, coming into college, a lot of people get worried about meeting new friends or not meeting any new people. But when you come in as a student athlete, you build a family. And that's exactly what we have here at your college, for at least for our softball program especially, is they are my second family. And for a lot of us on the team, it's the same way. And being a student athlete can be overwhelming and tough at a lot, like during a lot of times, but building those unbreakable bonds is really what makes it worth it in the end. For the love of the game, but for those of us who are Division Three student athletes, it's more than that, a lot more. Sure, the game is important, but as we work so hard to build both mind and body, it's more about team. That is why NCAA Division Three teamed up with Special Olympics. And in giving the gift of sport to those for whom it seemed an impossible dream, we are working to make this a better world. Help us keep that dream alive. You can make a difference. season on a pretty decent role and we want to continue to do that, continue to work on our three primary areas of hitting, our defense, and our pitching as well. So we can continue to improve on that. That's our ultimate goal. So we have three goals as a team. The first one is to get that CAC championship and then the second one is to get to the NCAA tournament and then our third one is just to live by our motto, one team, one dream. So basically be unified as a team, which we've been working on pretty well. We lost a starting pitcher, we lost a relieving pitcher, um, we lost a lot of um, um, tough hitters, and we're looking to replace those. Oh, we have a great strength and conditioning coach, Coach George. Um, he is fantastic. We have a great workout program. It's really helped us become stronger, quicker, faster, which really helps us on the field and off the field because we get a lot of bonding. Key returns include six starters, um, and including um, six players who saw a lot of action last year. So we're hoping those players can help us achieve the goals that we have set for ourselves. Well, I mean, I'm really looking forward to personally hitting all the time because we have morning hitting in addition to our practices in the evening. But I really enjoy hanging out with the whole team and like when we win, it'll feel great. So. Yeah, we're looking at a couple of freshmen to step in, um, some middle infielders. We have um, some outfielders that we're looking to um, contribute immediately. Uh, we have one pitcher that we're looking to contribute immediately as well. We've got a pretty tough non-conference schedule this year, so that'll definitely test us, but it'll also prepare us for our CAC schedule, 
which is also not a breeze either. So we've got a lot of work to do, but we're working in the right direction. Conference play is always tough. Um, we have a very strong conference, and um, we're hoping that we're in the top three or four. Um, our non-conference schedule is just as competitive, um, so I'm looking for strong competition throughout the entire schedule, throughout the entire season. I like knowing that when you get here, you have a whole group of built-in friends, and that just, it makes you calm down for a moment and realize there are people going through the same exact thing you are, and if you need somebody to come pick you up, take you to classes, if you're injured and you need to ride across campus, just knowing that you have other student athletes in general um, to come help you with that is it's fairly, fairly comforting. I'm a Division III student athlete, and I know how powerful words can be. The term gay doesn't mean stupid, lame, or less than. So I pledge to speak up if I hear the term gay used in a derogatory way or any other homophobic terms. If you can play, you can play in Division Three. I'm a Division Three student athlete and my teammates unconditionally accepted me as part of their family. So now I pledge to do the same for others. If you can play, you can play in Division Three. Um, our goals and expectations are always the same. The goal is to make the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, I think last year we came a lot closer to making that goal. Um, had some really good wins, some tough losses. So the expectation is that we'll continue to grow and um, get better this year. We have a lot of goals and expectations. Um, our ultimate goal is to definitely win the CAC tournament and compete in the NCAAs. Um, I think we have a lot of potential this year. You know, we didn't have any seniors last year and everyone's returning. We added a few new freshmen. And I think they're going to play a big part in our success this year. We're actually not losing um, uh, much from last year. We have 12 girls back, so I think that's kind of one of the strengths of what we have going forward is um, a lot of continuity um, and, and bringing some of the new kids along has been a lot easier. Um, our off season, well, it started in the fall. We had our fall ball games. We did really well. Um, it was definitely a spot for us to see where we were and what we could improve on. Um, our strength and conditioning coach, Nick, gave us a great winter workout to follow, and people have definitely gotten stronger over the year, and I'm excited to see where everyone is. Um, again, we've, we've got all 12 kids back. Um, almost, every, almost every start at bat hit um, is, is back from the roster, so I would say all of them. Um, it's it's kind of been a, a team effort last year and moving forward into this year and I think it's um, it's been great because they've done a great job of sort of bringing along the newer girls and um, they know what the expectations are of the program now so it's a good bar for them to set. I'm looking forward to having a fun senior season. Um, definitely getting out on the dirt. The snow is always pushes us back and the first time we really get to see the snow is when we play Randolph-Macon for our first doubleheader of the year. We've got three freshmen and a couple of junior college girls um, so it's a good mix of a little bit older, a little bit younger, and I think they've done a good job of kind of pushing some girls who've been entrenched in positions for several years and, and pushing them to make them better. So, um, you know, I kind of look for probably all of them to see a good amount of playing time and um, sort of allow us to, to be flexible with how we rotate our lineups. We have a lot of great teams in and out of the conference. We start our season at Randolph-Macon for a doubleheader. Um, and then we go to Virginia Beach, play a few good teams, and then we go to Florida for spring break, and we play some great teams that are NCAA, you know, ranked. And I think it gets us ready when we come back here. Hopefully the snow will be cleared by then, and we can get outside and start um, playing the non-conference and conference. We have one of the toughest conferences, and I think they get better every year. But we're ready to compete. You know, starting with the conference, obviously um, Salisbury has, has finished second and third the last couple years at the NCAA tournament. Um, Christopher Newport's been in the Super Regional against them the last year, so obviously having two teams that have been in the Final 16 is it's a big hill for us to climb. It's great for us competition-wise. Um, it allows us to, to know what we need to do to get to that point. Um, out of conference this year, we have actually are going to face uh, five teams that played in the NCAA tournament, so it'll give us a good... Um, good way to see where we're at before the conference season starts. My favorite part about being a student athlete here is definitely teaches you how to you know manage your time. Um, going to class, going to practice, doing your work, getting everything done. And also D3 week. D3 this is one of my favorite things. Um, it's a great thing for teams to you know mesh together, you know find out 
what's going on in their team and our team. Um, so yeah. Our goals for 2016 and our expectations are, are as lofty as they are each year. You know, we obviously want to win the conference and go on to win the regionals and now the super regionals and then win a national championship. And, you know, we have six seniors on our team. Five of them have been with us since their freshman year. Um, they're pretty hungry to get back to the NCAA tournament. Uh, but we have a lot of teams that we have to get through first before we can uh, look at the NCAA tournament. I think our main goal for this upcoming season is to see how our work in the off season has paid off. We were strong in the weight room, we got stronger um, physically, mentally, and we were able to build a team camaraderie that's um, very that I'm very excited to see and how it plays out on the field. We return uh, six seniors and I think all, all of them will be key for us. Uh, Rachel will be in, the, Rachel Spade will be in the outfield for us and she will patrol center field and she takes a lot of hits away. So we, we like that and Rachel. Anna will be on the mound and if she's not on the mound, uh, she'll be swinging a bat for us probably in that three or four position. That's Anna Brittingham. And then we have Kim Dorsey who plays short for us. Uh, maybe she'll lead off again, maybe not. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It might be between those two players right there, Anna and, and Kim. You know, uh, I don't think you want to face either of them for the first thing, um, first batter of the day. And we have Paige Knusman's coming back, uh, an All-American for us also. And it looks like she's going to take over the catching duties. Molly Simpson will be at second uh, so solid and she is uh, probably in the best shape of her life and looking to uh, get back to hitting those sharp long balls again for us and then katie sabane will anchor down third base as she's done since her freshman year uh, i you know I, arguably one of the best defensive players in, in the country uh, katie's just tough just just takes away everything at third the off season was, um, like I said, strong. We were able to make big gains. Um, coach focuses on the little things um, at practice, so um, focusing on working together. A lot of communication is, has been like key um, communication out of season. So even if there were times where one person or a couple people couldn't make it to a lifting session, you know, we're always there to say, "Hey, come at this time" or "Go at this time." So I think um, the communication that our team like has built um, in the off season has. Um, funneled into the end season because I can see it now with practice and everything that it's made us closer and stronger on and off the field. Well, we have uh, a really nice freshman pitcher, um, Brooke Nazelle, who came to us from Virginia, who has made a really great worker um, pitcher for us. She will not only see some pitching duties, but I expect her to be in the lineup somewhere hitting. Uh, kid's got a pretty good bat as, as well as a pretty good fastball. And um, they're probably are, she's probably, we have, gosh, we have eight freshmen. So I'm not going to go through and, and list all of them. We'll just leave Brooke at the top. Uh, Brooke for all our freshmen players. I'm excited to get back down to North Carolina because that tournament has been canceled the uh, past few years. So. Um, 
but I'm excited to see the um, strength that the other teams have built up, especially in CAC play. Um, always a good um, rivalry against CNU. Very, I love it. Like that's that's those are the games that I live for. But as far as other teams, as University of Mary Washington and Frostburg and other um, teams in the CAC, it's it's strong. So it's always just it's never one's gonna. You never know what's going to happen, so it's like you got to wait until that day and then see what ends up happening. So. And we head down to Raleigh, North Carolina, or and actually the tournament's going to be take place in Cary, uh, North Carolina, and we play Emory, Rowan, Salem. All were in the NCAA tournament last year, and I'm forgetting who else we we play there because, um, and I apologize to that team. And then we <coughs> have some other excellent teams that are coming into Salisbury for a couple small tournaments and I think all that's going to prepare us for our very demanding and maybe one of the best conferences in the country, the CAC, where you just never get a break. Uh, you, get, you know, you cannot look to the next team because the one you're playing that day will, will take care of business and, and uh, knock you down. So, you know, a tough schedule. But I think we're prepared for it. I know mentally we're pretty tough. You know, we like this weather. We're, we're outside in it. So uh, we'll be prepared for our opponents. Well, you know, I certainly would. There, there are six really fine young ladies. And as you said, um, five of them have been to the championships every year of their career. And, you know, I think what that brings to us is that they're just calm and cool. So if, should they make a mistake, they can move past it. Whereas I think younger players may kick themselves for a couple more plays and that creates more errors. Um, this team's doing, these seniors are doing some really good things at practice and I really like their work ethic, uh, which I always have, but I think the way they're approaching things is a little different. And we've had a little different approach this year in our philosophy of, of hitting and pitching and, uh, and defense too. And I think it's just made us better. Well, now that I'm a senior, I've really been able to sit back and realize how much we support each other, whether it's um, lacrosse, soccer, field hockey, basketball, tennis. It's, we're all there to support each other. So seeing when you look around, when you take a minute to look around and see who's actually at your games and um, see what we do to support each other, it's the same thing. Softball goes and supports other teams and um, I just, it's enjoyable. Division three allows you to give yourself to other things. Having that free time allows me to pursue the things that I want to pursue. Division three athletics affords students the opportunity to, you know, engage in the other interests in their campus and in their lives outside of that sport. It allows you to just be able to do everything you want to do. How it wouldn't change it for the world. Our goals it's, it's really just to strive to focus on each day each day in practice each day in the weight room and every day that we're together is just try to just try to expand and get better on what we're doing that particular day you know ultimate goal I think any team is, is really that has those aspirations is to try to win a national championship and we understand there's a lot of great things that have to happen to get to that point you know and we don't really uh, you know, go through step by step exactly what we need to do. We just try to put a lot of focus on each day, you know, and stay kind of in that moment, in that present time to, you know, really continue to just gain experience, gain the reps that we need to, and just develop individually and as a team. My personal goal is just to do my best and have the best season that I can. It's my last season, so I want to put my best foot forward and go out with a bang. We have a lot of them. You know, it's really hard to say who's key. You know, we've, we've got, as far as starters go, we've got our starting catcher, starting second baseman, shortstop, third baseman, left, center, and right fielder, DH, and, uh, you know, one of our number one pitchers from last year, too, which I think we had kind of like a 1A, 1B, you know, so as far as returnees go, and we have some very, very key contributors that uh, are returning that, that helped in many ways that are going to probably be even more impactful this year as far as our freshmen or even sophomores that were our last year's team. Our offseason has been very hard, so we've put in tons of work. We've been in the weight room, we've been running, we've been out on the field. So once we start playing games, 
it's going to feel natural to us and that's what our main goal is, is to play our best and this will help. Key newcomers, we had a small group of freshmen this year and I think all, you know, that, that group being small are, are all going to be impacts for us this year. And it, whether it's impacts as a starter or a role player, you know, our depth, you know, that's, that's extremely important to have some flexibility as far as positions that they can play. Uh, we had three transfers that came in this year, uh, two from Division I schools where they, actually, where they played prominent roles at both of those schools. And then we had a junior college transfer who was the number one pitcher at, on that particular team as well. We're looking forward to games. We love the competition. Practice is great, but there's nothing that can compare to actually playing on the field and having competition. Non-conference, it's going to be tough right out the gate. You know, we start off with William Peace, who was picked to finish second in the USA South. We finished very strong last year. Uh, we go right into having to play Lynchburg and Averett. Averett, who was picked to finish first, first in USA South. Lynchburg, who's probably going to be right in the maybe top two or three mix as far as ODAC preseason. Uh, we go to leadoff classic. Um, there's a lot of other teams mixed in that you know, without taking up time that are, that are going to, everybody's tough, everybody's tough. So it makes it fun. That's what we want. That's what our players want. Conference, um, it's getting better and better. You know, it's, you know, everybody, everybody mentions that the, co the Capital Athletic Conference in softball is top heavy. And it's easy to say that when you have us and Salisbury in there and some of those other teams can maybe get overlooked, you know, regionally or nationally because of that. But, you know, <laughs> Teams are getting better. It's something that it makes us makes it fun for understanding how we need to prepare to go into the conference this season. And um, you know, it's a, I think it is a situation where many teams can jump up and win a game. You know, if you're not playing at a high level. There's never one game that we think oh, that we have this one in the bag. We start our season playing a very tough schedule, and we just love the competition and ready to compete. It's it's going to be an exciting place. It's like you know having it kind of kept as far as like a friendly confined atmosphere you know to come in and enjoy a collegiate softball game. We've got seating seating areas uh, beyond the dugout roost where people can walk up and sit and have a perched area up there. Chair back seating, bleacher style seating. Uh, enclosed press box for our sports information and uh, staff that want in, to be able to come in and especially on some of those colder days where we have that heated and in the summertime, if we're having events out here where we can have it, you know, have some AC going on in there for them as well. So, something we haven't ever had here. That it's it's a great addition and it looks it looks really nice too. My favorite parts about being a student athlete is just the connection that I have with the team. I have 20 some girls that I consider my best friend and my sisters, and I don't think a lot of people have that opportunity to say that.